Hi guys, it's Gav here from danceplanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And today we've got one of the subscribers on, Joe Williams from Liverpool. And we're going to be doing the preview and predictions for night 10, which is April the 5th, Judgment Night from the Echo Arena in Liverpool, which is live on Sky Sports from 7pm. Thanks for joining me today, Joe. How are you? Not too bad, how are you? Yeah, I'm really good, thanks. Keen darts player, are you? Yeah, not too bad. Who do you support from up where you are, Liverpool? You must support Liverpool, do you? No, I'm not a supporter. <laughs> I knew that, guys. I was just messing about. He'd already told me that. Um, so do you play in a league or anything like that? You dance or just at home? No, I, I, sometimes uh, I play on a Wednesday, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'll probably start playing in, the, in a league in the next couple of months. So I uh, want to get that consistency going. Yeah, because you've had quite a few 180s as well, haven't you? Yeah, quite a few. Oh, nice too. Wish I had a few more. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to get on to um, the Premier League. The opening match of the night is Gary Anderson against Rob Cross. Last week, Gary Anderson won 7-5 against Mencia Sulevic. He had an average of 96.91. Hit a couple of 180s. He's had a 50% checkout. While Rob Cross, he obviously lost to Daryl Gurney last week. He still had a 100.16 average. Hit four 180s and a 55.5 six um percent check out he played really well but gurney was on fire how do you see this one going joe it's a tough one to call because uh gary uh rob's never beat gary before has he no so it's gonna be a tough one but uh, yeah rob's gonna be gary gonna be close one i'm gonna go with six all yeah, do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for six all on this one as well. Just while we're on that, I was I was thinking Rob Cross obviously being world champion. The problem is is still seeded, obviously number three in the world, isn't he? Which means yeah. that especially like Gary Anderson not being at these tournaments, is always gonna run in to MVG being seeded number three wherever we go. And it's just you know, even if you do make it late in tournaments, to win anything while you're number three is gonna pretty much have to beat MVG, isn't he? Yeah, I think that's you know, is it's, it's tough. And what do you think about Peter Wright yesterday? Just while we we're on that, um, getting to the final again. He, he, I thought, I thought he did well to get to the final. I just think, I think he took about one six one to go five all, and then uh, Michael just ran off uh, three straight legs. Didn't need to take the tie. So I thought he had a good weekend. So hopefully he can uh, get a bit of confidence and uh, um, I think he'll probably stay safe now. Yeah, I think uh, so. That's why I wanted to move on to him and speak about him, because obviously the next match up is Daryl Gurney against Peter Wright. As we just said, Daryl Gurney last week was absolutely absolutely awesome against Cross, hitting nine 180s in that match, 98.53 average. Um, while Peter Wright, as we know, got a six-hole draw with Simon Whitlock. Um, he needed to get back into it last week to get the draw, because I think that has 99% relegated Sulevich and made him safe. Now, how do you see this one going? I think it's going to be a close one. They both had similar weekends, uh, but uh, obviously Gary loses to Van Gaal. And, yeah. Uh, P.I.'s had a better tournament average. I think he had 98.8 once again. He's 95.25. Yeah. Had a similar checkout percentage. I think uh, yeah, last week's win, win will probably give Gary a bit of a boost, and I'm going to go with 7 5 Gary. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for Gurdy to win this one as well. I'm gonna go for Gurdy. I don't know why, but his last couple of weeks, couple of wins. I know Wright's played well on the European um, tour, like we say, two two finals in the last couple of weeks. But I think he's gonna win this one. I'm gonna go seven four to Super Chin on this one. Yeah. Uh, next up, we've got Mencia Sulevich against Michael Van Gerwen. Obviously, last week, Mencia Sulevich lost to Anderson 7-5. Um, he had a 97.94 average. He had a checkout of 101, 45.45% um, checkout percentage. While MVG was devastating again last week. Um, he beat Barney, as we know, 7-2. He had 104.47 average. Checkout percentage of 70%. I feel sorry. I feel really sorry for Mitch Sulevic because I think he's done amazing. Um, he's had loads of 100 averages in it. He's been unlucky first season in, but it's a tough ask. And I think even if he do win, he needs to win like 7-0, doesn't he? And then um, rely on other results going his way due to the leg difference. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's going to win this one. I think he's going to win this one. Uh, I think he's going to win this one. Uh, I think he's going to win this one. Uh, I think he's going to win this one. Uh, I think he's going to win this one. Uh, I think
What do you think of this one, Joe? Uh, Sullivan had a, I think he had a good weekend, even though he lost on the last 16. He had a 101 average uh, against Max Shop. Yeah, he uh, did. He had a, uh, his, only, his tournament chip percent checkout was only 24. So if, he, if the, the doubles carry on like that, he's not going to win. Bang, he'll just do what he does. Yeah, he's just... Just, the... just, 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 just turn off and just play on okay, high and just... Just take the title. Uh, it's I just, think he's going to win this one. Sorry, Joe. I think he's going to win this one quite uh, comfortably. Uh, I'm going to go seven two. Yeah, I think I, I'm like you. I think he's going to win this one. I'm going to go MVG to win this one seven three. I just think it's it's one of those things for Sulevich. I know that last year um, when he got invited to the Premier League, he didn't go into it. Um, he didn't think he was ready. This year is. I think is. <laughs> to get relegated out of the way he's played, it's just know, it's yeah. just so difficult because there's other players in there, but I don't think they've performed anywhere near as well as Suljevic. Um yeah. And also, he even um, didn't go to some tournaments to actually concentrate on the Premier League, which is even more yeah. frustrating, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I feel really sorry for him on that one. Next up, we've obviously got Raymond van Barneveld against Michael Smith. Last week, as we know, Barney lost 7-2 to MVG. He had a 96.82 average. Um, a 20% checkout. Uh, Michael Smith last week had a 93.84 average in his win against Gerwin Price 7-2 and a checkout percentage of 46.67. How do you see this one going, Joe? Well, I don't think he's a, I, I think Smith probably... I mean, he's had a couple of good weekends of Smith, uh, but he's, he keeps running into James Wade the last couple of weekends. Yeah. He's been you know, unbelievably good. Um Barney's not got enough match practice, so I think Smith's going to this 7-4. Yeah. I'm going for a Smith win in this one. I'm going for him to win uh, 7-5. Just while we're on the, um, you know, talking about Smith, you know, to be where he is on the averages that he's been hitting and that is... Is is lucky, really, isn't he? Is yeah. you know, even going back, I think it all started that first week. What was he? Was he five one down or five two down to yeah. Anderson early on, and ended up getting a seven yeah. five draw and a sort of stem from there. But he seems to be the new, almost like the new Michael Smith. Seems to know a bit like Wade. He needs you know plays the player in front of him and found a way to win now, hasn't he? With low yeah. averages, and there's very few players that can do that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, Anderson played, like helped me, like like made him like have this run. I think to be fair, and that win, I think he won a UK Open qualifier, which probably gave him a bit of confidence to to be to be where he is in the table right now. So you was actually at Belfast last week, weren't you? Did I did I see a photo of you with Rob Cross on on Twitter? Yeah. You sent one, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, well, what was the atmosphere like at Belfast? Because on telly, it just looked absolutely awesome. It was, it was definitely, honestly, it was unbelievable. Have you been to I've the met... Liverpool one before then, Joe? Yeah. Was it a lot better atmosphere than at Liverpool? Obviously, being from Liverpool, I thought that was where you'd have probably gone to your, to your nearest one. Yeah, it was, it was, the Belfast last week, it was a bit like when they, uh, Lewis hit the nine data last year. Just, yeah, I can imagine it was... Um... Well, next up we go to uh, Simon Whitlock against Gerwin Price. Simon Whitlock, obviously the 6 all draw last week against Peter Wright. Really should have won it again. Um, he had an average of 98.2 and a checkout percentage of 46.15. Gerwin Price, average of 87.44. Um, he didn't even hit a 180 last week. A checkout percentage of 20%. I think he's give up. I think the Premier League's been too much for him, too early for him. And I thought that going price for somebody that the Premier League wouldn't affect, but it clearly has for some of his tweets. And I don't know, his head's not in the right place. He's losing games now, isn't he? Unlike the, you know, the European, he's, he's all over the place. What are your thoughts on this one, Joe? Well, at the start of the Premier League, I would have probably thought it was a much tighter game, and I might have gone with uh, Price to win this one. But his form's just ter- terribly. He played, he lost in the second round of the weekend to Luke Humphrey six yeah. one was averaging eighty seven. I yeah. didn't even hit a one eighty. That's the same uh, as this, isn't it? Eighty seven here, no one eighties last week. It's I know. And he, when it, even though Whitlock lost in the, the, the second round of the weekend, he lost six four to Keegan Brown, and he, he averaged ninety one with a fifty percent checkout rate. 
I think Whitlock's going to get to uh, win this one, and I'm going to go with seven three. I'm going to go for Whitlock to. I think Gurney. Uh, I think that Price, sorry, is going to have to. He's going to have to do something. This his last. Whether he'll ever get. I'm not saying he's not ever going to get into a Premier League again. Because we know that Michael Smith a few years ago has been in it, played yeah. really bad, and got back into it. But I'm not sure that. I think this has affected Gerwin Price, and I don't think we're going to see him in it again for a good few years. And he's going to want to go on a high, but I think he's going to get a few more. I'm going to go for a Whitlock win on this one. Seven. Five, yeah, seven five. I'm going on this one. So that is mine and Joe's prediction for night ten, which, as I said, is April the fifth, Judgment Night from the Echo Arena um, in Liverpool. It's on Sky Sports at seven p.m. Now, just before you go, Joe, obviously being a huge Everton fan, you got Liverpool this weekend, twelve thirty on Saturday. How's it going to go? How you How you going to stop Salah? Oh, I don't know, honestly, it's just. If we play our best, then I think we can challenge them. Or I don't know. I, I don't know how we're going to line up, but hopefully, hopefully we could win it. Derby days are always different, though, aren't they? You've always yeah. got a chance. Irrelevant to form or what you know how you're doing. You've always got a good chance. Um, on that one. Well, listen, Joe. Thank you so much. Just before you go, also, are you on? Are you doing the fantasy league this year? You are, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Hoping uh, you've given away some of your predictions as well in this video. Should people follow you or not? How are you getting on? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, I'm improving week by week. Uh, got, got six points last week, but uh, I'm getting on. Yeah, probably up to 68th in there, the, the table. So hopefully I can get a good, uh, good, have a good week this week and get it uh, higher up. I always do these videos and say these are my predictions, but don't follow them because I don't do very well. <laughs> going all over the place. But listen, guys, as you can see here, all the predictions are now open for uh, the Premier League darts this year, um, this week over at www.fantasydarts.tv. So check that out. It's free to play. If you've not joined already, you can sign in via Facebook. And obviously, you are a few weeks behind, but just join in the fun. It's all about having a bit of banter. This week also, I'm going to be going away for a few days as it's Easter um, with the kids and that. So I'm going to be doing a few challenges um, on my new Win More board. So keep your eye out for them if you want to have a great laugh. As always, check out dartsplanet.tv. It's where I bring in all the best uh, videos that are happening on YouTube. Massive thank you um, to Joe for being on the show today. Cheers, Joe. No problem. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Bye.